Hi, this is Margo. This is Thursday morning, July 25th, 2019. I'm going to do a climate update along with an Arctic sea ice update this morning. We're going to also take a peek at methane and sulfur dioxide. So, uh, Robin and I did a Arctic sea ice show last week, about a week ago, and so I thought I'd just kind of keep up reporting on a weekly basis. It's And we had so many problems with trying to get that show done. It, it's just I'm just going to record my own updates unless we're able to do it a little easier. So first we're looking at Climate Reanalyzer. <coughs> this is from today, the 25th. This is showing the maximum temperatures around the world today. And we can see the whole world is pretty much on fire. And, um, you know, lots of other people are reading the articles and reporting on the record-breaking temperatures around the world and this and that. And so I'm going to focus my time more on reporting the data from from the websites that I use and so um, here we are we can see everything is red it's in the red and into the dark red and into the white from you well you can just see for yourself and this is the maximum temperatures for today when it goes up into the white <coughs> like over Africa and and um, I think that's Pakistan and Tajikistan and Turkey and parts of India and uh, Saudi Arabia Middle East it's also getting into the white up here in uh, Belgium and the Netherlands um, it's in Europe over there that's getting up into 40, 40, between 40 and 50 degrees Celsius. So these are unheard of temperatures and we can't exist with temperatures this high. We just can't do it. Not for long. And so that's why you're going to see massive, massive die-offs starting Here's the two meter temperature anomaly map and it's just, it's strange to see all the red and then you see the blue here in the United States and North America we see, um, so it's lower, lower than normal and then we see areas like up in Canada and Alaska where it's higher than normal, Greenland, and then you've got the Europe and the Scandinavian countries and Russia much higher than normal. And look at Siberia over here and there are massive wildfires going on in Russia and Australia Australia's warmer than normal and then you've got massive red areas in the Antarctic and for the world, it's 0.2 degrees Celsius higher than normal. The northern hemisphere is 0.5 degrees Celsius higher than normal. The southern hemisphere is 0.1 degrees lower than normal. The Arctic is 0.6 degrees higher. The Antarctic is 0.3 degrees higher and the tropics are 0.4 degrees higher. So you have um, you have massive massive things that are out of whack here. Here's the precipitation and cloud cover around the world. We can see it's raining in the Arctic. This is um, it's been raining for days and days and days. It just moves around. The sea ice is melting quickly. 
So here's the rain around the world. You can see massive amounts around the mid-latitudes. Look at India and southern Asia and coming across just massive amounts around the mid-latitudes like what we're seeing. Let's look at the jet stream. We have a schizophrenic jet stream. It's split. We've got it looping around here in the Arctic and then it splits and it comes down and loops around and then loops back up and comes around. And so it's got we've got two jet streams going on in the northern hemisphere and two jet streams, at least two, going on in the southern hemisphere. Here's the sea ice and snow cover. And I'm going to show a slideshow in a minute. And I have some other stuff to show about the sea ice. But you can see this is not looking good. And where, where it's more blue, that's less ice concentration. So you can see this Baffin Bay is pretty much all melted to the west part of Greenland. It's melted all around the coastlines here in the Arctic. There's just a little bit left in the Hudson Bay. Let's look at sea surface temperatures. see they're very hot but what's really shocking is to see the sea surface temperature anomaly they're always a day behind on this for whatever reason so massive red areas and up into the white so the red is anywhere from four and up into the white up into six degrees Celsius higher than normal and so, and then the brown is starting around two, up to two, around two degrees, one, one to two to three degrees Celsius higher than normal. So, where that's going up under the sea ice, it's melting it quickly. So you can just see for yourself. Um, over here in the Pacific, it's red and brown all the way across. And over here, uh, Greenland, it's red and brown around Greenland. Red in the Kara Sea here and brown and red up here in the Laptev Sea near this ice, East Siberian Arctic Shelf and um, red around Finland here in Sweden red in the Mediterranean and red over here off the coast of Europe and France and Spain. So we've got some huge issues going on. I'll take you through my slideshow now. This is the sea ice right now. This is from Climate Reanalyzer. I'm going to go back. We can see how it's changed in the last few days, in the last week. I think I missed one day. Yeah, I missed the 29th. So Wednesday was the day that Robin and I did our show. Wednesday the 17th. So here's what it was like on the 17th. 18th. Here's the 20th. 21st, 
22nd, 23rd, 24th, and here it is today on the 25th. This is from the Navy website. They did update <coughs> everything to today. Yesterday I was going to do a short report, but um, they didn't have updated information for concentration and thickness. They had it for the 21st, but now they've got it. So this is the gift that goes back three weeks and forward one week to August the 1st. So here's where they anticipate it to be in a week with the concentration. Um, the red, solid red is 100% and then it goes down into the orangey colors. So within a week we can see it's not going to be solid anywhere in the Arctic. There might be a little bit of red down here in the Canadian tributaries here. And the yellow is 60 to 70 percent concentrated. The green is 40 to 50 percent concentrated. And then once you get into the aquas, it's, it's moving on down to much, much less. Here's the concentration as of today. Here's the thickness as of today. And we can see the thickest ice, which is right around here. It's south of the North Pole. Here's the North Pole. So the thickest ice is already melted away from the North Pole. If we can blow this up and see. Here's the North Pole, and so it's melting quickly, and the thickest ice is right around here, and it's about in the uh, one and a half meter range. It's not even a good aqua color. We just have a little bit in the aqua that might be up to two meters and a little itty bitty bit right here on northern Greenland that's up into the yellow and maybe into a little tiny bit that's up into an orange color. <coughs> but um, otherwise it's already into the lavender the blue is one about one and a quarter meter. The lavender it's getting down into the one and half a meter and then down to nothing. Now here is the animation for it's a thirty day animation that goes back three weeks and goes forward to one week, August the 1st. So they're showing you where it started on July, July, whatever it was. It started on July the 3rd. Here it was on July the 3rd. And we can see if we click through day by day, dramatic decreases day by day. Here it was last week when Robin and I did our report. Here it is today where we are right now today. And this is what they're forecasting. And here's what they're anticipating it to be. Oh, if I blow it up, it starts the, the movie. I can't do that. 
So. So here's where they're anticipating it to be on August the 1st, a week from now. So it's melted all around these coastlines pretty much and <clears throat> just a little bit of maybe one and a half to two meter rise right along here and um, the rest is very thin and then the melt season goes traditionally till about September 15th <clears throat> but it it can continue melting into uh, after that we saw it melting into October and it was also melting even in the middle of winter up underneath as it was trying to refreeze it was melting underneath and so that's why it doesn't come back as thick so that's where we are today here's a, a movie I made this is from NASA World View with the sea ice concentration. This is from the 15th through uh, two days ago, which would be the 25th. They run two days behind, so this is the most up-to-date. Well, the animation, it looks like it only ran it only ran it through the 23rd well so this is what it was through the 23rd so we're seeing huge changes here and so we're now we're back to July 17th and here we are today now next I would like to show a little bit of methane and sulfur dioxide this is the latest methane data on CAMS this is for total column this is the reading all the way through up into the atmosphere and we can see a um, huge increase just since my methane report on Sunday over China, Asia, northern India. It's also beginning to go into the red here in Saudi Arabia and up here and um, going uh, in higher regions up here in South America so when you see total column increasing like that you know we're in trouble it's also increasing here over the Pacific and moving out into over Japan and so forth so if we go to surface level This is what it looks like worldwide right now with massive releases of methane up here in the Norwegian area and northwest Russia. Massive is just like a big black blob in Europe and of course Europe is, is getting another heat wave. The United States is getting another heat wave and so on and if I ran the movie you would see where it would all be popping up and if we change this to the Arctic view we can see these releases increasing and coming out now in the Laptev Sea oh, hold on I've got to get the phone okay I'm back so we're seeing these um, higher releases in the Arctic and if I ran the movie you would see these waves moving up and everything so this is this is incredible okay now I want to take a peek at let's go back to global view 
at, I want to show everyone sulfur dioxide real quick. We're seeing more and more releases every day. It's still releasing in the Pacific Ocean and we had a new release near a couple of new releases near Africa and now we've got a new release here um, northwest of Australia. I'm thinking this is from this Indonesia over here indicating possibly big earthquakes coming there. Um, well they've been happening but it's showing more releases there. So I just wanted to show that real quick too. Very high, re high levels of sulfur dioxide around the globe. So things are not looking good. And I'm thinking that the sulfur dioxide is holding the heat in. Now let's move on over to what do I want to show? Oh, okay, the next I want to show is National Snow and Ice Data Center. This is backing up what I showed from NASA Worldview. Here we are from this is a day third day behind, but this is a day ahead, a couple of days ahead from what I showed. Here's a hole in the sea ice there, right there. Um, we can see very thin. We can, the more blue it gets, the thinner it is. And here's the chart. And it's at its all-time record low. It hit that. Um, in mid-July. It's below the dotted line where the 2012 extent was. So it's even below that. So that's not looking good. And while we're here, we can take a peek at the Antarctic. Here's the concentration on the Antarctic. That's not looking good either. They're still in winter there. And here's the chart for the Antarctic. And it's their sea ice extent is at an all time record low for this time of year, too. I also have Greenland's ice sheet pulled up. The salmon color is where it's melting the Greenland daily melt. This is for July 23rd yesterday. That's where it's melting. And this picture is the melt from July from it said January 1st to July 23rd of this year. So this is where all it's melted this year. Here's the graph showing the melt extent for 2019 and comparing it with what it's done in past years and so it's taking a spike up in July. It spiked up in June. We're not spiking th up that high but it's spiking up now. So that's There's that. Now let's go ahead and look at NASA Worldview. I'm going to refresh this so I can get the latest. This is from today, so we're not able to, s this data has not come in here um, on the Greenland part, so we can we can go back to yesterday and look at that area. I mean, not Greenland, Canada part. So here's Greenland from today. This is pretty much cloud free, so we can get a pretty good view of what's going on. And here's some clouds over here, but we can see around the edges what's going on and um, look at the massive melting that's happened on the surface here.
here's where the ice has already melted and broken up around this northern part of Greenland. And this is where that old thick ice used to live. Right around here and over through here where it's already cracked up. Now we've got some clouds over here, but this is all melted. Here's, so here's Norway, and here's these Scan, um, Scandinavian countries. This is where we saw that big black blob of methane here. <coughs> um, I'll back out in a minute and show you the smoke and the wildfires. Here's Novaya Zemlya. We can see, okay, we're looking through some clouds. There's just a little trace of sea ice along the this edge here. Here's the Yamal Peninsula. We've got clouds here. There's there's no ice around here. This is the ice edge. We can see it through the cloud cover through the little bit of cloud cover here. This is the ice. <coughs> we can see around the coastline there's no ice there. Looking through the clouds there's no ice here. Coming on around Here's the Chukchi Sea. Here's the Bering Strait. Here's Alaska, Alaska, Alaska. Here's Barrow. No ice. See, that's all gone. Here's the Here's the edge of the ice right here. We're looking through a little bit of cloud cover here. Now here there's no clouds and this is what's the the edge of the ice. Very thin and chunks here. Let's see. <coughs> Here's Fall Bard. That's no ice there. Just chunks of ice to the west of Svalbard. See that? Now let's look back to yesterday. Here's what the rest of this looked like yesterday. It's already melted here see all around the coastline. Now we've got a few clouds but you can see through it. This is all melted around those edges. It's melted in greatly here. Here's the Amundsen Gulf. Here's the Beaufort Sea. Here's, what's, here's where the ice edge is. And here's Alaska. Right, this is Alaska. This is Canada here, sorry. And all this blue and green, um, I mean not blue, um, yeah there's some blue and the brown. That's sediment. The green is algae from around the coast. See, that's all melted. Here's, here's the Baffin Bay. That's a cloud there. There's Greenland. That's a pretty good, that's a good view. There's no clouds on Greenland there. So we can get a good view of what's going on. And look at the melting that's going on. You can see 
these are melt ponds. That's what they look like. Where they look blue on the ice. Those are melt ponds on the ice sheet. Where it's melted on top and gathered in little ponds. The water is there. They're all over the place. Here's a better view of this edge of the ice here. So let's go back to today. You see all this smoke? This is from the wildfires in Russia. We can turn on the fires layer. All these red dots are fires. Massive. Just filling up. If we go back to yesterday, here they are from yesterday. Here they are over in Alaska. Canada has fires. See the smoke? That gray stuff, that's smoke. Here's smoke and so on. So there's lots of methane coming up here and there's lots of permafrost that's melting and the ground so when the permafrost melts it releases carbon and methane. In addition a lot of this area uh, has a lot of tarry stuff. It's considered part of the Siberian traps and there's the ground is very tar ridden and over here in Canada they have oil oil sands same thing and once these fires get started it's hard to put them out and they just keep going so that's my update for today I'm gonna go ahead and sign off so if you haven't gotten right with God and Jesus, now would be a good time. Time is short. God bless you. Go in peace and I'll talk to you soon.